Hello and welcome to this quick Unreal tutorial on how you can tie in events to a music track. So what I've got here basically is three cubes that kind of dance and change in colour. Uh, at the minute this is a very simple implementation that I'm just using a... Sorry that's the wrong one. Uh, I'm just using a simple timer that every second the timer will come through and it will change the material. Now what I want to do is tie this to a music beat so that on the beat they change what colour they are. So I've already imported a WAV file here and what I need to do is I need to make a sequence based on this. So if you create a new animation level sequence and we'll call that music sequence. Oh, I think I've added a space in there. There we go. Uh, open that up. Add in a track. Add in an audio track. And then if I select my WAV file, I now have a sequence that has the full audio track in. Now, this is a very long track, so I'm not actually going to use all of it for the purposes of this, so I'll just play it into there. Now, what I need to do here to link this to these objects is, in the objects, I've already set up a... I keep doing that. Uh, I've already set up this change colour event, and that's what I'm going to be using to change colour. So what I can do is I can add another track, actor to sequencer, and what this does is it finds an actor in the world that I can call an event on. So I'll add a track for dancing cube one, I can add another track for dancing cube two, and another track for dancing cube three. Very simple. And you see it's already got this transform. We don't actually want to try change the transform of the object. What we want to do is add a track to the dancing cube come down to event and click on trigger. Now you'll see that this has appeared. Now on the first beat, I'm just going to zoom this in here, on this first beat here, you can hear the music playing a little bit, I'm going to add a keynote, right click on the properties of this new keynote and you see the event is unbound. Well we're going to do a quick bind and if I search for the event I made in the dancing cube you can see it appears. Click on that and we are automatically taken to the sequence director which has made this event for us. Now you can add all the other events you want in here as well for the other dancing cubes but I find it is much easier to just come back to your sequence sequencer and do the same for the others. So we'll add an event trigger for there, add an event trigger for that. Uh, we're on the same keyframe so we'll just add those in, add the properties Quick bind, change colour, there we go, make sure that's saved, do the same for this one, and then change colour, like so. Save that and then all I'm going to do just quickly is I'm going to just copy and paste this, move the time to the next beat, and then, oh it's not actually let me, put, I might have to do this uh, one track at a time, so if I do that there, 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 and there, and then for this one, um, I'll actually do that on the, the last two beats, so there, and there, and then this one um, can do every alternate beat, like so. Uh, save that sequence and then for this sequence I could just drag it and drop it into the world and so it automatically plays so drag that in there go to the details panel and we'll tell it to loop indefinitely and we'll tell it to autoplay save that and what one thing I do need to do before I set this running is I just need to turn off my timer event so if I break that connection compile that it won't be it won't be triggering based off the timer anymore. So if I hit play, you can see that my first one is time to the music. And look at that, it's quite a cool little effect. So you can actually go a bit further with this. Um, that is a very basic way of doing it and that might all be all you need for this tutorial. Um, but I did actually have a second way of doing this where I have another actor 
that I have called, maybe I've not dragged one into the world. If I go to my blueprints and add a dancing manager, I will go back to the sequencer. I will add a track for the dancing manager. There he is. Again, come into the event, add a trigger. Um, and then I can delete all the dancing cubes like so. And in the dancing manager, I have another event that lets me specify which cube that I want to actually change. So if I just quickly add in all these, um, the ones at the start are the main ones just for the purposes of this tutorial. So there's a kind of a little beat there, a little beat there, a tiny beat there, and a big beat here. And then just for completeness, I'll add this beat here. Same again, right click properties, the event is unbound. So um, this one, I what did I call this one? I will just have to double check, bear with me here. Um, not in there, so I'll just go to here. Where's that? Dancing Manager, Blueprint. Make specific cube dance, that's what I called it. So same again, properties, unbound. Let's make specific cube dance. Sorry, I just bumped the mic there. That's the feedback you're getting. And you see this one takes in a parameter. So this is parameter is going to be the cube I want to dance. So I've already specified my cube's array order uh, in the level. Now if I click on properties and go to here, you can see the event is set up. And then in the payload, I have this num to dance. So for the first one, yes, I'll take array zero. Um, so the first element in the array will dance. And then what well, actually I'm going to do, because it's just so much quicker to copy and paste. Uh, move to the next beat, paste that in, move to this beat, paste that in, paste that in, and paste that in. Perfect. Now I should see, yep, yeah, Nom to Dance, so this can be the second one, this can be the third one, oh, but arrays, so go down by one, and then this one, I'm going to actually I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to, ch so the first one I will have zero and then I'm going to paste on top of it and add another one so the second one dances and then another one and get the last one to dance like so and then I'll just move that a bit closer to the thing, save that and hopefully if I press play now you can see that they are timed the music and they're the specific ones I ordered. So that's it for this short tutorial. Um, if you want more t tips on Unreal feel free to drop a comment below and I will get back with all your requests. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.